How many of you wake up, look in the mirror, and say, damn, I look great? And then find yourself focusing on that one pimple that you can't stand seeing on your face. I think it's fair to say that many, if not all of us, have experienced this. Acne, acne is one of a teenager's least favorite things. And as we go through this stage of teenage years, we become very insecure about our imperfections. In an article written by Dr. Felina Lamb, she states her ideas on how to keep acne away. More importantly, she says that acne is, an, is a problem occurring in 85% of all teenagers. Now, in this room, that means 26 of us suffer from some sort of acne. Now, even if you're not suffering from acne now, the information that I will be presenting you today will help you in the long run when, if, or should you start to see acne on your skin. Today, I wanna to talk about three main things. First, what is acne, what are its main causes, and where does it come from? Second, I wanna talk about the short and long-term effects of acne. And finally, I want to talk about the treatments that can be used to cure those long and short term effects. With that said, let's get started. Throughout life, there are many instances where we feel insecure. The teenage stage is just the first of those, and to add to this is the immense pressure of acne. Acne includes many different forms, some of which are more well known than, more well -known than others. Some of the most common forms are pimples, whiteheads, blackheads, cysts, and pustules. According to Dr. Felina Lamb from the previously cited article, she states that acne occurs at tiny pores. These tiny pores are associated with hair follicles, not only on the face, but on the neck, the back, and the chest. Numerous studies have been done to try to figure out what the main causes of acne are. Many studies show that diet, it's, that acne is caused all diet. However, many studies, as well as dermatologists, say that acne is all genetic. In an article written by Jessica Chia talking relating chocolate and acne, she quotes a study done by a French woman by the name of Henry Maunder. Although the details of the study are undisclosed, she, Henry Maunder came to the conclusion that chocolate did not have a direct correlation on the, on, of acne on his subjects. Furthermore, Lauren Valenti stated that greasy foods, sugars, and saturated fats had an effect on acne. Furthermore, and interestingly enough, she states that her cell phone had an effect on acne as well. Wherever she placed her cell phone on her face, she, she could see that she was starting to break out. Now, although the definite answer to what causes acne is still up in the air, some, one, the one thing we do know is how they appear. First, when the hair follicle gets blocked by sebaceous glands, otherwise known as tiny oil glands. The, in these tiny oil glands, the sebum cannot escape correctly, causing a whitehead. When these whiteheads are exposed to too much air, blackheads appear. These blackheads, the bacteria inside of blackheads can multiply at a very rapid pace, causing a tender red pimple. Now inside of these tender red pimples, pus and fluid can grow inside, causing a painful cyst under the skin. Now that we know the causes of acne, where it comes from, you may be wondering, what are the short and long-term effects of it? Now, acne is not only skin deep. There's a psychological effect to acne as well that, we, that, that causes us to become insecure about ourselves. The main, cause of, the main effect of the acne, however, is scarring, which is the permanent damage left on the skin from acne. To stop your face from scarring, you need to know the different treatments that can be used, so which I'll describe right now. People do not know that there are multiple ways to, to treat acne, and it's all dependent on what the patient feels about, the, uh, about their acne and what they want their face or body to look like. Dr. Lyndon Lombroso, a dermatologist, says that if you're in the 11 to 12 year old range at the, at the beginning stage of puberty, then an over-the-counter face, face wash, cream, and lotion should be sufficient. Also, she, says, she, she states the same thing about acne systems such as proactive. Because, because your body is not secreting enough oil to cause severe acne, these, sim these simple steps can be used to stop it. However, the most recommended form of acne, the most recommended treatment is to consult a dermatologist. As professionals, they have the highest knowledge and greatest access to medications. Some of these medications include topical creams, gels, and oils. Also, they can prescribe medications in the form of pills. The most common medication form pill is something by the, by the name of Accutane. According to drugs.com, Accutane contains vitamin A, which reduces the oil released by the skin. More importantly, this vitamin A can, can renew the skin and make you look better. Also, if you're at the beginning stages of acne, you, can, you should stop the clogging of the pores simply by washing your face two days, two, two times a day, day and night. Also, you can receive facials. With a deep cleanse, the popping and squeezing, sorry, you can 
This gets rid of already existing pupils, but can also stop further ones from appearing. Now, in conclusion, we see that, act, that the teenage stage is the most acting infected. This is because of all the hormonal changes that our body is going through. Now, regarding acne, there really is only one question left. Do I have to deal with that? Thank you.